forward with the questions on uh, number series, arithmetic, and the basic uh, mathematics that are asked for your paper one. Now here you have a very simple question. You have the next terms in the series. Now these are also important for your CSET examination. You have the number series that is one, three, and five. So the next number would be definitely seven. Here you have three, five, seven. So the next number would be of course nine. But all of the choices have seven and nine. So what we need to do is understand the letters. Okay. So the pattern of the letters is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. So I am leaving three letters and then the fourth letter. After H, it is uh, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay. So here again I leave three letters, the fourth letter. Again I leave three letters, the fourth letter. So it would be 7P9 as the right option okay the next question is further interesting so how we are trying to understand this question in this question first of all we find out the difference between these two numbers okay so in the this case the difference is three okay so what i do is for the first value what i do is so this middle value would be the square of the difference this value would be 29 minus 3 plus 1 and this value would be 29 plus 3 plus 1 Okay, so I would have the values here and here that are quoted. Now, if I want to say, find these three values, how would I do? The difference is 5. Okay, so the middle value would be what? It would be 5 square, which is 25. Now, this value would be 55 minus 5 plus 1. And this value would be 55 plus 5 plus 1. Okay, so this would be 50 plus 1 that is 51 and this value would be 60 plus 1 so it is 61 so 51 25 and 61 would be the right option here a very very interesting question that was there and this was a question that was asked in 2019 so over the years we have seen a little higher level of difficulties as before that was there now the average of two numbers is 22 so a plus b divided by 2 is 22 so i can say a plus b is how much 44 and 60 percent of a is equal to 50 percent of b so 60 percent of a is equal to 50 percent of b that is my second equation now with these two equations i can definitely find out the product of a and b so how would i do it i would simply solve it for 3 by 5 a is equal to b by 2 okay so i find out the value in terms of let's say b if i substitute b it would be 6 by 5 a i can substitute this in terms of a so a plus 6 by 5 a is equal to 44 i can solve the value for a and then i can have the value of b i can substitute the value of a here i can find out the value of b and then i would do a into b which would be my final answer Okay, so what we have to do is you have two equations and two variables then you can easily solve those. So I'm not solving that here. Uh, we are just going on to with the steps to help you understand how to solve these kind of questions. Now here again, the sum of the number and its inverse is minus 4. So x plus inverse of x that is 1 by 4, 1 by x would be minus 4. The sum of their cubes, so x plus 1 by x whole cube would be how much so that would be i would have a plus b whole cube formula so that would be a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b a plus b so that is how you solve it so i'll just solve it i'll just substitute the values here and i'll solve this for this question and i'll have the values here okay so uh, i can simply uh, again what i can do is i can uh, substitute the values and uh, start solving this question okay so uh, that is what we are trying to do while solving this question okay so uh, what is important is I need to find out the value of the sum of their cubes. So I need to find out x cube plus 1 by x cube. Okay. And what I have taken here is 1 by x, the whole cube, which could be expanded at this. Now this 1 by x is minus 4. So what I do is I put minus 4 here. So I say minus 4 cube is equal to I solve this. Okay. So that is x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3x into 1 by x okay multiplied by a plus b which is 
x plus 1 by x which is minus 4 okay so i just have the values here and therefore i solve this value okay so this is minus 12 and this is 64 4 into 4 into 4 that is 64 so i have 64 is equal to x cube plus 1 by x cube and minus 12 so i take minus 12 uh, value here okay and then uh, or i take this is minus 64 okay so i take minus 12 value here or vice versa and i would have minus 52 as the right option so this value would be how much this value would be minus 52 i repeat again i have the sum of number and its inverse as minus 4 so i would write so just to repeat it again x plus 1 by x would be how much minus 4 and the sum of their cube so i have to find x cube plus 1 by x whole cube uh, or 1 by x cube that is the value i have to find but what i can do is 1 plus 1 by x whole cube that i know is a plus b so i can write it as x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 into x into 1 by x into x plus 1 by x okay so that is a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b a plus b now this would be equal to x plus 1 by x whole cube so that is minus 4 x plus 1 by x is minus 4 so i have minus 4 whole cube that would be equal to x cube plus 1 by x whole cube plus 3 x and x cancels out and this value is minus 4 so 3 into minus 4 okay solving this it would be minus 64 is equal to x cube x cube plus 1 by x cube minus 12 so i take 12 here so it becomes minus 52 is equal to the sum of the cube so minus 52 is the right option here the next question is again interesting 300 gram of sugar solution has 40 percent sugar so how much sugar actually is there so 40 percent of 300 so that is 120 so 120 grams of sugar is present okay as simple as that now how much sugar should be added to make it 50% of the solution? So 120 plus x and 300 plus x because both of the quantities would increase if I am adding sugar. The total solution would also increase as well as the proportion of sugar would also increase and this ratio would increase by how much? 50% so 1 by 2. Now this is as simple as that so I solve the values for x here and I get the answer. So simply you have to solve this equation and get the value for x. The next question is a 50 year old man has a son whose age is two fifth of his age. So let's say the 50 year old, a, uh, old man has an age of 50 years as we know. Okay so son's age would be how much 2 by 5 of 50 year which is 20 years. Now, after how many years the ratio of their age of the man to the son would be 3 is to 5 is to 3. So, after how many years? So, 20 plus x, okay, and uh, then I have 50 plus x. So, I am increasing the age of both the son and the man. Now, the ratio of the age of the man to the son would be 5 is to 3. So, I solve this equation and I calculate the value for x. Now, what is there after how many years so that is what i have to find the x years so x would be calculated so simply solve this equation and find out the value for x so that is uh, another kind of question now ratio and proportion are the kind of questions which have increased their uh, proportion in the recent examination so let's talk about one of such questions so ratio of two numbers a by b is equal to 3 by 7 now after adding 9 to each so a plus 9 b plus b plus 9 okay a plus 9 divided by b plus 9 makes it 9 by 17 the numbers a and b are so simply i can take the value for a as a is equal to 3 by 7 b okay i can substitute this value of a here and i can solve this equation okay so this would be 3 by 7 b plus 9 divided by b plus 9 which is 9 by 17 i can find out the b and once i have the b i can find out the a because that is the ratio that we have and we can find out the numbers as simple as that okay 
the next question is again a interesting question now you need not to even solve the question from the choices you can easily pick out the answer the smallest integer greater than one which is simultaneously a square and a cube so from this choices 64 would be the right answer very very direct question how 64 is the square of 8 into 8 and this is a cube of 4 into 4 into 4 so i have to find out a number which is the square as well as the cube Okay, so square as well as a cube of an integer. Okay, so integer is important here. So you would have 64 as the right option, a very direct question that was asked here. Okay, uh, the next question is you have a kind of sum of money that is there. And what we are trying to do is we are trying to understand uh, the compound interest problem here. So sum of the money with compound interest becomes 2400 in one year and 3000 in two years so i know the formula now what is the formula we uh, know it is a is equal to p plus uh, one by one p into sorry p into one plus r by 100 raised to power n which is the time so in the first case it is two four double zero is equal to uh, p one plus r by 100 in the next case it is three thousand is equal to p one plus r by 100 square okay since it is for two years now i have to find out the principal amount how can i go around it the first way would be finding out the rate how would i calculate the rate i can simply divide these two equations so 3000 by 24 3000 i'll keep on the upper side 3000 by 2400 would give me p 1 plus r by 100 square divided by p 1 plus r by 100 okay so i cancel these two so what remains is 1 plus r by 100 is equal to this i find out the value for r solving this let's say r comes out to be 24 uh, 20 um, let's say 25 percent or whatsoever the value comes out for r uh, i have to find out the principal amount now i can find out the principal amount i can just put the value of r here and find out the principal amount that is there okay now this was the interest that was seen okay so this was the compound interest the sum of the money with the compound interest becomes 2400 uh, zero in one year and 3000 in two years so what i have to find out is the principal amount that is p now i know uh, i can substitute it in, in any of the case let's say my uh, rate comes out to be 25 percent so i'll substitute it in the first case so it would be 2400 uh, is equal to p 1 plus 25 by 100 raised to power 1 and i can solve the value for p and whatever comes would be the answer because this is the principal amount that you have to calculate so here one of the important thing is when you have uh, questions based on compound interest sometimes you would see that it's not addition or subtraction that would be useful but sometimes you would have to divide in order to turn up with the right values now this is a very very interesting question based on profit and loss every time you are seeing one question either from profit and loss or from compound interest so cover these topics very very carefully very very important now here you have by selling a mobile for 15 uh, 1536 amit loses 20% so that means when he is let let the original price be 100 now when he is selling for 80 how much is the amount 1536 so what would be amount when he sells for 100 it would be 1536 divided by 80 into 100 okay now the question says uh, what would be the percentage he would gain and lose by selling it for 2000 now let me first solve this so it would be 5 by 4 okay now when we solve this let's say this comes out to be 1920 okay now what is the percentage when he is gaining or uh, gaining or losing when he is selling for 2000 now definitely he would gain so I can ignore the loss ones option here because the original value is 1920 and he is selling it for 2000. So 2000 minus 1920 divided by 1920 into 100. So this would be gain a profit and profit of how much we would calculate here and then we would solve it. So you would have a simple solution to this problem and you would have the answer here. So this was one of the simple questions from profit and loss that we have seen. Uh, so we you must cover compound interest ratio proportion and profit loss problems very very carefully with a changing trend at least one question from these sections are asked so cover those very very carefully and we would be of course doing many more sessions for you have a wonderful day ahead